I was telling everybody that uh, when I rode uh, Uncle Roy's horse back in Pennsylvania, and, and I was taking it home after we were done with it one evening, it wasn't dark yet. And I just turned the corner. See, when you went out to go to Uncle Peavy's, and then here you turned to go left up the hill to go to Uncle Roy. Well, I went up this hill all half a mile, probably. And the horse started, I don't know, horse ain't gonna go. Dirt road. And the horse smelt them skunks. Was it a dirt road or gravel? Well, in them days, it was all dirt road. Yeah. And stone. Lots of stone and big stone. And it was embedded right in the road. Anyway, I turned the horse around, went back down to the barn, and my buddy Paul Hershberger was in doing the milking. And I told him my story that the horse, you know, buck wouldn't go. He said, well, just wait till I'm done milking here. He says, I'll go with you. So I waited until he was done milking. And he come out and and uh, he said, just stay on the horse, and I'll walk with you. And we get up there. He says, okay, now. I said, you stay right here. He walked over, and here was this mother skunk and five or six little ones, just little tiny ones. He just walked up like nothing happened and just grabbed a hold of them tails. And then the little skunks just lifted them right up. Walked them down in the, well, it's all, it was a, all a lot of spruce trees and stuff, or uh, pine trees. He walked them down in the woods, the ways, just dropped them, came back and got the rest of the little ones. And the old mother never sprayed. And he came up, grabbed the mother by the tail, and I couldn't believe it. There's no smell. I said, how did you do that? And he told me, he said, you lift their rear legs off the ground no more than that. So they can't anchor and spray you. And he said, you can carry them all day. And you won't smell none because they can't spray you. Wow. They have to have Real legs, pressure, power, yeah. yeah. And I, so I was telling everybody down there at the Osage about this idea, you know, no sweat. All you got to do is just, so I went to go in this. Uh, That's where we used to go camping with Uncle Billy and Ruth in the trailer. I went to go in this restroom and it was a big one. You know, you walked in, it was open. You just walked in, walked around to where you go. And uh, here was this skunk. And <laughs> Uncle Bill got a big long stick or something, I think it was. Uh, and he was going to get the skunk to, to move out of there, you know. And all of a sudden that skunk started coming. And I was standing right where that skunk was going to have to go by. Instead of me just standing, I took off. I beat the skunk. Rain. And Uncle Bill says, Look at where the rain. are you going? Look at the rain. I said, <laughs> and then I remembered, you know, hey, how are you going to catch a skunk when it's on a dead run? You know, so that saved my idea. But it never worked. And I don't want to try it. <laughs> no, no. I think that was the 